Did you know that almost every darts player loses their patience and can get aggressive during matches? From epic meltdowns, heated clashes, and players losing their cool to tense showdowns, we'll be exploring the drama and intensity that makes the dart sport so captivating. The talented English darts player Rob Cross, known by his moniker Voltage, Cross shot to fame in 2018 when he won the PDC World Darts Championship in his debut year as a professional player, defeating the legendary Phil Taylor in the process. But it's not just his impressive career accomplishments that have landed Cross a spot on this list. In one particular incident, Cross showed his fiery side when he hit back at Wayne Mardle, a well-known pundit who had been critical of his performances. Cross didn't mince his words and hit out at Mardle with a passionate response, saying, To be honest with you, I pay my own bills, I feed my own kids, so no one else can tell me how they think I should play the game, because I pay my own bills. If Wayne wants to have that much of an opinion, tell him to pay my bills. Tell him to pay my bills and I will throw the way he wants. We can't skip the iconic clash between Phil Taylor and Raymond Van Barneveld. These two legends of the sport have faced off multiple times over the years, but their 2013 World Championship semi-final was particularly intense. After Taylor's 6-4 victory, tensions were high as the two competitors shook hands. It's unclear what was said between them, but things quickly escalated when Taylor pushed Van Barneveld away with his arm. The Dutchman responded by giving Taylor a light shove on his back. In the aftermath of the incident, Taylor expressed regret for his actions and apologised to Van Barneveld. I reacted wrongly, and I'm ashamed of that because I really like Raymond. I'm gutted about what happened, Taylor said. It's upset a lot of people. And it's also upset me. I've contacted Raymond to apologise to him, and hopefully we can put it behind us now. Despite the apologies, this clash between two of the greatest player in PDC history remains a memorable moment for all the wrong reasons. Again in the 2017 World Championships, after Phil Taylor defeated Kim Hybrecht in the third round, he appeared on Sky Sports for a post-match interview with commentator Wayne Mardle. However, the interview quickly took a heated turn when Mardle questioned Taylor's performance in the previous round against Kevin Painter. The 16-time world champion did not take kindly to this and fired back at Mardle, saying, You of all people shouldn't ask me a question like that. You're going to put As the exchange continued, Taylor's frustration became increasingly evident, and it was up to the host Dave Clark to step in and move the conversation along. This was also one of the many instances where Taylor's competitive spirit got the better of him, and it remains a memorable moment in PDC Darts history. Don't forget to hit the bullseye to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. Colin Lloyd, a veteran of the game who is no stranger to letting his emotions get the best of him. At the 2011 World Championships, Lloyd found himself struggling against Andre Welg in the first round. After losing a 2-0 lead and managing just 55 points from his first three throws of the fifth set second leg, Lloyd had had enough. In a fit of frustration, he walked up to the board and gave it a right hook. Jaws, as he is commonly known, admitted that it was a moment of madness and stupidity, and he was prepared to face the consequences if the DRA decided to take action. While some criticised him for setting a bad example for kids, others said that it livened things up. But Lloyd himself acknowledged that he couldn't gloss over the incident, and that one can't expect to get away with hitting the dartboard on live television. In the end, Jaws managed to regroup and win the match 3-2. But it was a clear reminder that even the most experienced players can get caught up in the heat of the moment. James Wade, who was known for his skills on the hockey, but also for his outbursts off it. Wade's post-match interview after a second round win at the 2019 World Championships left many darts fans shocked and confused. After a tense match against Sego Asada, Wade came out victorious, but his behaviour left a lot to be desired. Instead of celebrating his win, Wade made a bizarre and disturbing comment saying, I wanted to hurt him. I wanted to really hurt him in his face. This statement was met with widespread criticism and controversy, and Wade was quick to apologise, citing a hypomania episode as the reason for his outburst. 
He later expressed deep regret for his behaviour and acknowledged that it was out of character for him. As Wade put it himself, I was fighting a battle with myself before I even got onto the stage due to a hypomania episode, which can happen to me at any time, and no one is more upset than I am about what happened. While Wade's behaviour may have been out of character, it serves as a reminder that the pressure and intensity of professional darts can take its toll on even the most seasoned players. Justin Pipe, who was no stranger to controversy on the dart stage, in the 2012 World Grand Prix, Pipe faced off against Kevin Painter in a tense match that came down to the wire. After securing a hard-fought 3-2 victory, Pipe's emotions got the best of him as he repeatedly punched the air and even went as far as shadow boxing in front of his opponent. This display of unsportsmanlike behaviour left Painter waiting at the Oki for the customary post-match handshake which eventually came, but not without a clear display of anger on Painter's face. Pipe's celebrations continued, even as his opponent made a hasty exit from the stage. It's moments like these that show just how intense the competition can get in PDC darts. Adrian Lewis, who may have won two world titles since that infamous match with Peter Manley, but the memory of that meltdown in 2006 remains vivid. At just 20 years old, Lewis was a rising star in the darts world and had already made it to the quarterfinals of his debut world championship. But when he faced off against Manley, things quickly turned sour. Manley's mind games were in full force and Lewis grew increasingly frustrated by his opponent's back chat. As the match progressed, Lewis reached a breaking point and stormed off the hockey in a fit of rage. Despite the referee's attempts to retrieve him, Lewis couldn't regain his composure and eventually lost 5-3 to Manley. Years later, Manley admitted that he had been trying to mess with Lewis's concentration throughout the match and his tactics had clearly worked. It's a moment that Lewis will never forget. Gerwin Price, a player known for his fiery temper and intense rivalries, but none of his conflicts have been as explosive as his clash with Gary Anderson in the 2018 Grand Slam of Darts final. Despite trailing by three points, Price managed to make a comeback and win the match. However, the real drama unfolded with the two players exchanging heated words and gestures throughout the game. Anderson was visibly frustrated by Price's slow pace and over-the-top celebrations, which prompted boos from the crowd. But Price refused to back down, and his antics only got more extreme as the match went on. His behaviour ultimately led to a suspended ban and a hefty fine of £12,000, which was later halved. Despite the controversy, Price insists that he and Anderson are on cordial terms. It is what it is, he said in a recent interview. I don't hate him. It just sometimes bothers me how he's on stage versus how I am. I am who I am. Everyone plays their own game. Some are slower than others. It's all about how you deal with that. Don't forget to hit the bullseye to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.